Okay, so uh, this being uh, Tuesday, March 10th, um, at 6.35, we're going to open the Water Sewer Commission meeting, and we're going to start by our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So um, I think we're going to um, go right to superintendent updates. Mm -hmm. If you would like to begin, Frank. Sure thing. Thank you. I uh, actually want to thank you, actually, for spending some time at the treatment plant uh, a couple weeks ago with uh, Fox 25 News. How about that? Uh, unfortunately, uh, it wasn't as positive as we uh, had hoped. No, I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate your thanks. And um, I did my level best to provide clean samples to those reporters they just didn't either uh, well i should i should start over um i think there are editors who are responsible for the cut and paste of the program so i believe they were presented with a um the test cups the clear so we had a after and we had a before with the um iron manganese in suspension and I said, this would be a really good um, shot for the camera to take. Oh, yeah, that's great. I want to get a backdrop. And they spent time, and they hit the stuff, and they got something to show the contrast. Yeah, that never made that it. That never made it. There was, there was uh, bad footage from eight months ago. Mm -hmm. But um, from several other people, it's really only those people that paid attention to it Affected by it or in the know in Norton, really? I don't. I, I maybe people outside um, saw it and whatever, but um, said that they didn't really get too much about the dirty water. They were glad that the treatment mm -hmm. plane is coming on, which I was trying to convey. Yeah, exactly. But I did. I did what I could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know that I'd do it again. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the exact reason why uh, many people in this profession refuse. Yep. those type of interviews yep. uh, definitely to have a camera there you know they uh, they are able to edit and pick and choose and, and display what they what they so choose right you know whether it's uh, you know factual or not yep you know, I think the end result would have been uh, the best thing to show you know but before and after it just it seemed like it was lacking uh, you know information yep um, background I have no idea um, I don't know, like a week, a, a week ago, um, ish, I don't even know when. Okay. Um, it's probably been a week and a half, maybe two. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere around yep. there. Yep. Um, I was contacted a couple weeks before that, and um, timing never worked to do it. Excuse me. To do an interview with the plant and the water treatment plant. Oh, okay. Um, because they had heard... Um, from the news blurbs or whatever, um, probably watching the Norton neighbors and all the stuff that's going on in here, yeah. that the new water treatment plant is up on uh, online and producing clean water. So with my hesitation and aversion to being cut and pasted, which is exactly really what happened, I was not too anxious to go out and do it, but um, they were persistent and assured me that it would all be good information and it would be a positive thing for the town. Um, we touched base a couple times and met at the plant and uh, I didn't let them inside with the um, film camera. I let them take a couple of shots of the piping and whatnot because I didn't want... There's still quite a bit of um, cleanup going on. The painters were there that day. And it looked like a construction site to a certain point, but it was I mean, nothing affecting the water. It was really just touch up paint and what. Um, so uh, I let them shoot a couple pictures, still pictures inside, uh, which they posted, and that's cool. It's um, I thought it was uh, going to be beneficial to get that out, and I think it is overall. But it's just a letdown when um, we took the time to provide a couple of a clear sample of 
um, finished water, what do we call finish it? Finished water, correct. Finished water and uh, raw water um, with the iron manganese in suspension and uh, never made it. And again, maybe it's only us water geeks that would know the difference but when they shot the when they show the footage from eight months ago of a tub full of what looks like iron yeah um it, it doesn't doesn't do a lot of good they, they didn't flash forward to the the clean sample so that they had so it's positive a result as you right. were hoping would right. come across the screen okay. and i the um reporter that interviewed me contacted me the next day via text and i didn't i didn't reach out and whine after i saw the piece i just said you know whatever, um, thanked me for my cooperation and I said I wish there could have been a, you know, clarified sample on there and okay. crickets. Mm -hmm. Haven't heard anything since. But Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. No, I'm I don't know. That's good. Ask That's anything good. you like. Good to clarify it for others that weren't aware of what, what was happening as well. <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, that's fine. Uh, so we'll jump over to, uh, to the wells. Um, well six has taken longer than expected to uh, to clean and modify and to remove the cleaning chemicals from the well because of the double screen that's there. Um, it was uh, Monday morning, that uh, yesterday morning, that we actually pulled a uh, a quality, quality sample and sent it to the lab. We have uh, phone confirmation that the sample looks good. We have to wait till we have our actual hard copy that we can present to DEP and then we can uh, formally request to use that site in addition with well five going to the plant. Got it. Um, possibly as early as this week or beginning of next week depending on how long it takes to get that paper in hand and that paper to the DEP. Yep. Um, we can hand deliver it if the person that is doing our inspection is available we can do that to expedite it. Right. Um, we're doing whatever we can obviously to, to speed this process up. Um, it may require a site visit. We are unclear on that. I don't know if Tara has any clarification if that will yep. be something he's coming out for. Um, no, but we did, Derek, uh, we got an email from him this evening. Great. So we do have the paperwork where to forward over to DP. So call, give him a call in the morning and make sure they received it uh, via email. And then um, awesome. they've been really good about quick turnaround. So we're, we are hoping that Thursday or Friday we can start. Yeah. Nice. pumping towards the plant and balance Sweet. some chemistry off of well six as well that's fantastic yep. yeah. yeah we already pulled some preliminary numbers of uh, uh basic ion and manganese levels from the raw water at six so we know what we're going to have going to the plant in conjunction with well five so we already have some workups done chemically on paper yeah that we know what our adjustments may have to be to get us kind of dialed in before we just have an unknown come to the plant yeah uh, that makes perfect sense you know definitely definitely derek's been down there doing his homework with the other guys that have been there um a lot, of, a lot of math involved. Yes. I'm glad he's the person for that. I just don't have the head for that. To, he's, to he's, that. he's really stepped up. I, I, right. I, I've said it before, and I just I am very pleased with the results of the, all the people out there, and Derek especially is just, right. he is yep. really um, right. loving that. Yep. And that's that's great. Exactly. It's, really, it's really good to see, you know, yep. from one of our guys on right. it. Oh, exactly. So uh, so that's a little further along than I had had on my notes as of first thing this morning. Uh, once we do have Well 6 going to the facility with Well 5, we will uh, run through a couple more days of running Well 4, basically just to run the chemical down in the facility so we don't have to transport the chemical to another site. Right. Um, right now we're, we're at the minimum amount that's in there because we've had it online so long and we've actually been... Uh, staggering the start and stop on well four and only using it as needed because that is one of our higher wells with iron and manganese yep. uh, so we've been trying to avoid that unless we absolutely need it um, what will happen when well six and well five go through the treatment plant is we have to incre increase the distribution amount from the facility into the system that is going to cause disruptions that is something that we have a good idea of where it will happen like we did when the plant went online um, we're going to strategically post people there taking routine samples. If we notice a change in water quality, we'll flush accordingly um, to basically balance the system back out. We're changing not only constant direction of flow, but also the flow rate itself, which is similar to the flushing program. So there is a good chance that you're going to have a disturbance and we're going to do what we can to head it off. If it gets out there 